Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I have just completed one month in India which I still cannot believe is true. Three months ago, I remember booking my one-way ticket to India and taking the biggest decision of my life. And fast forward to today, I've already completed one month in my new home. So far, I have been blending in with my family and my days have been filled with wholesome conversations at the breakfast table, bonding with my mother-in-law who feels more like a friend, eating the most delicious food ever and most importantly trying to relearn how to make friends, build my creator community again and just find my people, which as an introvert is the biggest challenge for me. The problem is, as an introvert and someone who believes in having quality friends, I really don't know where to start from in this unfamiliar territory. You know, unlike other boyfriends and husbands, he does not share the best drink with me. But looking at how pretty this flower looking fruit is, I got him a mango shake. Mmm! the mango shake? Coming to India at the age of 26 when I no longer like to party or neither am I a uni student, I really don't know how I can build my community again. Right now, I'm in this beautiful shell surrounded with the love and company of my family but no one talks enough about the struggles of starting over in a new country and building relationships again. Don't get me wrong, I love being in my own company, taking myself on solo dates and hanging out with my family that I'm already comfortable with. But as a content creator, the hard reality is that all my interactions with others is online and I've really lost the feeling of actually meeting new people one-on-one -on -one or in person and getting to know each other. Once I moved here, I realized that I need to relearn the skill of making new connections and not make internet my whole life. We were not supposed to go here, but we are going to Sephora. <laughs> Found what we are here for. Sara! <laughs> Guys, this is my first bubble tea in India and I've got the Indian soda flavor so let's give it a taste test. It's like sweet and sour, it's like I'm drinking spices. In the next few months, I have decided to get out of my comfort zone and go out and enjoy doing things that I like instead of being stuck behind my phone screen all day. I have decided to reduce my 9 hour screen time and create new memories, experience new things and actually get out of my comfort zone and get comfortable with interacting with people in real life again. Guys, I just got back from a first fest ever and I had heard so many good things about Indian fests so I really wanted to go here and I was so skeptical going because I was like oh what if it's too crowded what if it's not my vibe but I'm so glad I went even though usually I'm very comfortable going with 
Rajat or with like you know someone who I know I don't like going alone in Ubers from my place to somewhere else while I'm in India because you know it's still unfamiliar to me so I'm not very confident with it so I'm always hesitant but I'm so glad I went because I had a really good time and the music is really good and the food was really good and I did a little bit of shopping as well which I'll show you guys I had been on a hunt for this sort of jewelry for such a long time so I'm gonna show it to you guys so I got this really pretty angle which I got and it's so pretty you guys oh my god I, I saw this and I fell in love with it and I always see like Indian girls wearing this with like western clothes and Indian clothes and it just looks so pretty and I'm so happy that I've got this in my collection now and then I've got matching earrings as well. I really want to increase my Indian jewelry collection. When I tell you guys I have absolutely nothing, I have absolutely nothing. So I'm so happy. Look at these earrings. They are so pretty. I am so excited to wear this. Now I need an outfit to wear this ASAP. guys so i just got back from korean lane because i keep calling it the korean lane because i really don't know how to pronounce the name of the actual lane i think it's called saftajang it's the cat i think it's called saftajang and clave yeah i think that's what it's called um so yeah we went there the food it was okay in complete honesty it was the worst ramen i've ever had in my life and i never thought that i would ever say it the donburi and the kimbap were good but the ramen which is i think the most simple dish to make an ace it just tasted it wasn't my thing at all they had red onions in it who i've never had ramen with red onions and yeah it just did not it was I didn't like it at all so would I go to that specific restaurant again probably not and then um, in terms of the whole lane and the market it was really nice it was super vibrant there were so many bubble tea shops and we really wanted to go to one but we were so full so <clears throat> we didn't try any bubble tea stores and then there were like a lot of Korean clothing shops which looked really good like I went into them the only issue was though that they were all like one size 
how is how are like all these different body types supposed to fit in that one size and you know like you know how asian waist is right it's tiny so really in complete honesty there was absolutely nothing for me or maybe i just didn't you know try to find it enough but they were the clothes actually were really good and like some shops had really good quality as well and they were like really nice <clears throat> sorry i still have cough but anyways they were really nice like you know like corsets and pants and top and dresses they were just so pretty but yeah just not my size so yeah if you are you know curvy and or tall you'll have to like really take our time and find you know the right pieces for you so i will probably go back again um to you know check out different stores so i really couldn't find anything except for one thing that i bought and that is my favorite shin ramen i was literally craving shin ramen so much and you know like in australia you get this in Belize, if it's on sale, you would get it for five dollars or six dollars, right? Here, I paid freaking eleven dollars for it. What atrocity is this? Eleven dollars for shin ramen. It was five hundred something rupees. I think five hundred and eleven rupees, which is absolutely insane for noodles. But anyways, I've got this and yeah i'm very happy about it and now i've actually ordered cheesecake so we're gonna end the night with some cheesecake and we've got two cheesecake jars here which i'm so excited to have you guys the past three nights i've been ending my night with cheesecake which is absolutely insane three nights ago i had lotus biscoff then last night i had blueberry cheesecake and today we have blueberry cheesecake and lotus biscoff so let me just open this up Oh, the cans are so cute. Oh my god. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, Ooh, yeah. So cute. <laughs> Time to open the beautiful cans. One, two, three. This is just beautiful. This is what beauty looks like. Oh my god. This is literally heaven, you guys. This is heaven right here. I'm gonna share this with the fam and I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and thank you so much for watching it. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!